Hey everyone, welcome back, a Clisp here, and welcome back to another GEC tutorial video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install the GEC extender, which does a handful of things, but the main reason I like this is uh, the smoothness uh, of the whole GEC experience, and the fact that you don't have to keep dragging the categories to left to right with the conditions. Um, instead, it just shows the condition all at once. I'll show you a little clip of what I'm talking about. Uh, it's very fairly simple way to install very simple thing to to install and there are three files you have to install the GEC the extender and the any now even if you do have the GEC installed you still need to install this version of the GEC so link down below is going to be this whole thing just click files manual download download the GEC download the GEC extender and then download the GEC extender any which is also required so the first one is the GEC we're going to right click copy and then paste it inside our new Vegas directory not the data the directory itself um, so it's in the same file as your Fallout EXEs. Then copy the NVSC uh, and the GEC extender for, uh, part. And then right here in your directory, uh, right click and paste and then replace. And then for the last one, you have your um, any settings, which you want to right click the NVSC and then paste inside your data too. And then we're actually going to take a look into the GEC extender.ini. So. <laughs> um, there's a lot of these things that not a lot of people probably know. Um, one is true, zero is false. And to get a description of what these settings do, um, you can scroll down right here. So this is a direct, uh, oops, sorry about that. Uh, this is a direct copy and paste just with a description. Like be fast exit, enable the setting to make the get quick, quit immediately instead of freezing resources. And you can go up here, and you can see BFast Exit is set to true. You can set it to false, but I wouldn't personally. And uh, I recommend you don't really mess with any of these things. Besides, um, the script tab right here, bscript uh, compile warning pop-up, you want to turn this on. Uh, what this does is if your script doesn't work, and your script isn't uh, like usable, um, it'll give you a warning. Instead of just letting you slide with it and you not being able to figure out what's wrong with it, you want to keep it to one. And then another thing I, uh, I personally turn off is the be enable spell uh, checker thing. Um, it's set to true, but it's very irritating. So I set it to zero typically, but some people might, might like it. So you know, if you want to keep it, you can keep it. And then that's all it for the, the any settings. You want to click follow New Vegas, double click the GEC, and you're going to get this pop up right here. And this is okay. Um, it just thinks that it, it could be a possible virus, but it isn't. So you want to click the more details and click the run anyways. You're going to get this pop up only once and once only. You click run anyways. And the first, first thing you'll notice, um, is probably these tabs up here. But the second thing you'll notice is that this pop up popped up instantly. Um, uh, which means that it is definitely working. And if I load up my mod, you'll notice that it is loading pretty quick. And I want to go through the condition thing I was talking about. So if I go to my dialog right here, as you can see the conditions, you can see them. You don't have to slide these values or anything. And it's a big lifesaver for me personally. So, yes. Uh, that's how you install it, though. That's the tutorial. And uh, goodbye, everyone.